Zahra was her name. When the crate opened, all I saw at first were her eyes, the largest of any living creature, enormous golden orbs fixing me with a raptor's murderous glare. She was a year-old fledgling taken from the nest, already lethal and immense. I was a woman of 18, small, wounded, overanxious. Sweat coated my hands and lathered my body beneath heavy leather work gloves and a tarnished scale vest. Rookers have been killed on the first day. If it happened to me, another apprentice would take my place. Zahra stepped calmly into the muse pen without coaxing. Babak and the gathered rookers watching from behind the bars nodded approvingly. The fledgling hadn't hunched in the crate in fear, nor exploded out of it screaming with rage. She was healthy, calm, and brave, the most anyone could ask for. My excitement ran like a fever, the blood hot in my head, my fingertips tingling and swollen. I was thrillingly, terrifyingly aware of my fragility. A rock could knock me down in a single blow. With one massive, taloned foot, she could crush my head like a ripe apricot and tear out my entrails before anyone could make a move. I loved her with the gravity of a stone sinking into a pool. A fully grown female rock stands a head taller than most men. Fully spread, her wings reach as wide as three people lined up fingertip to fingertip with arms outstretched. Rocks aren't the impossible size that storytellers and artists would have you believe, but nevertheless, Zahra loomed over me. She made the falcon I'd flown as a girl seem like a toy. I began to speak quietly, murmuring my admiration for her as I picked up the butchered hind leg of a boar, careful to use my non-dominant hand as I placed it on the wooden perch. Zahra's head jerked, staring first at me, then at my offering. A moment of fateful decision, one that felt to me like the judgment of God, before she hopped onto the perch as if she'd done it a thousand times and began to tear into the meat. Audible sighs of relief escaped those watching. I backed out of the mews, opening and closing one barred gate and then the other, my knees weak. Babak was counting out a fat purse of silver for Ghazi, the rock hunter. He handed over the payment grudgingly, but without complaint. 